Greetings, Honourable Judges. I, Jonathan, and my teammate, Aina, will be focusing on SDG 11, which is Sustainable Cities and Communities. According to the United Nations, the impact of COVID-19 has been devastating in poor and densely populated urban areas, especially for 1 billion people living in informal settlements and slums worldwide. Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, FAO, warned that hunger could rise significantly in urban areas without measures to ensure that poor and vulnerable residents have access to food. To do our part in addressing this problem, we are going to make sure food are more affordable and accessible. We propose Digi Food. Digi Food is an Internet of Things, IoT-based system selling soon to expire food. We will get donated food from the supermarket as part of their corporate social responsibility, CSR, and then we will sell the food at a cheap price to ensure food is both accessible and affordable to the poor. The low charges for the food will be imposed to make sure that they appreciate the food. Every day near closing hours, the supermarket can upload soon to expire food to the Digi Food application. A notice will be sent to community pickers and the pickers will pick up the food and deliver it to Digi Food vending machines. The pickers will scan the food and place it into Digi Food vending machines placed at urban poor neighborhoods. Once food is uploaded on the Digi Food application, consumers can purchase food using the application. Customers have three options. They may book food in advance through our mobile app or buy manually via our vending machine. The more affluent customers can even donate money to lower the price of goods even further for everybody's benefit. Our system benefits everyone and is self-sustainable. Supermarkets will be motivated to participate in our project because they will be reimbursed with a portion of the price of the food items. Thrifty buyers will be keen to purchase quality food at a lower price. One vending machine is electricity and maintenance is estimated to cost RM6,000 per year. 10% of the proceeds will be used for paying the pickers and their logistics expenses. Another 20% will be used as an incentive for supermarkets to keep giving. 70% will be used for expenses and research. Previously, soon to expire food were placed at supermarkets and residents need to think of transportation to get their necessities. This is an accessibility and distribution problem. With this free food, residents spend less in transportation costs as the vending machine is situated right there in their community. We would like to further enhance our project by allowing supermarkets to scan these items and using machine learning to analyze trends in the supply and demand of the distributed portfolio in various locations. This information will be shared with the supermarkets. Distribute Food is a social enterprise to help anyone in need to get access to food at an affordable price during this economic crisis due to the COVID-19 outbreak.